Troubling news now from Zimbabwe. Reports that the police have violently suppressed a planned protest in Bulawayo today. We understand from the MRP, which organized the demonstration, that nine people have been arrested in the city. At the same time, the party organized a protest outside the Zimbabwean embassy in Pretoria today. Vili Lemoyo of the Mtwakazi Republic Party joins us now. Mr. Moyo, thank you very much for your time. First of all, for our viewers, will you explain who the MRP is, who you represent, and why you wanted to stage a demonstration today? Um, thank you very much uh, for the time. Uh, MRP uh, stands for Mtwakazi Republic Party. Mtwakazi Republic Party is an organization, a political party that was formed um, in 2014. Specifically, when we had uh, looked at how the people from the western side of Zimbabwe have been actually uh, been marginalized, suppressed by the regime in Zimbabwe, back dating to the early 80s. <clears throat> then we came up with an idea to come up with a political party to ensure that uh, we, we defend our territory and ensure that our people get the political will to be able to speak for themselves and also speak against the injustices that happened to them uh, for the past years. Tell us about what happened today in Bulawayo. There was a protest organized, I understand, uh, to raise concerns about a lack of freedom in the judiciary. Uh, tell us about why you wanted to protest and what went wrong in Bulawayo today. Basically, there are quite a lot of things that are actually pressuring us to get into the streets to protest. First and foremost, we have nine members of our party that were arrested and they've been denied bail for, for over a month. And then uh, we also have uh, attempted abductions of our leader, uh, Mkondi Moyo, who actually has been in hiding for almost a month. Um, and also we have quite a myriad of uh, challenges that are faced by our own people. So we actually had to take into the streets to also register our dissatisfaction, especially in terms of how Zimbabwe treats uh, the people of Matebeleland and also how Zimbabwe is failing to take an, an, an initiative to correct uh, the imbalances and the injustices that happened uh, in the past. So those are the things that prompt us to get into the streets and march. All right, so, so just a correction, I was incorrect. When those nine arrests have actually happened in recent weeks, am I right? Yes, there are actually nine of our members that are in custody, as we speak. It's, been, it's almost a month now. And, of course, you're referencing what happened in, in Debele Land uh, in 1983-84 and the massacre of so many people. Um, are you fearing that that sort of violent reprisal is, is coming to Western Zimbabwe again? Um, what we can say is uh, we have realized that the people, <coughs> Zimbabwe government has failed to address these uh, concerns. And we have quite a lot of our people that are affected by the Kukurawundi uh, genocide, uh, back dating in the early 80s, that is 83 to uh, 87, which the uh, then president, Robert Mkabe, said it was a moment of madness. And then uh, Emerson Mnangagwa said it was, uh, <clears throat> when he was coming into power, said, let bycoins be bycoins. And that actually disturbs us as the people of Matavela, seeing that the person who was involved directly in uh, butchering our people is actually the president at the moment. And we have had quite a lot of uh, <clears throat> continued, continued uh, marginalization of our people, which we term economic genocide, that is actually affecting our own people even up to this date. So quite a lot of injustices are done against the people of material land. And this is bring us to, to be more concerned as to what exactly and do we really belong to Zimbabwe or the other things that needs to be said to us that we do not understand. It sounds, it sounds very worrying indeed. And I just want to ask you if you can give us any information about the nine members of your party who have in recent weeks been arrested. Um, are they being uh, properly treated? And are there any rights groups that are assisting you in trying to gain access to them or even get their release? Oh, we, we, they're still uh, actually languishing um, uh, in prison, in custody. Um, we, we have the, the human rights lawyers called Abameli who actually stand for, 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 for people. Um, they have been working 
hard out to try to to come up with a way to get these uh, members out of custody but um, uh, the magistrate calls a uh, trade court they denied uh, them bail um, stating the fact that they are bound to run away since their president which is Mkondi Smoy is also in the hiding all right. Well, thank you very much uh, for updating us on a very worrying situation. And uh, please do stay in touch with us. We do appreciate uh, your time. That was Velile Moyo of the Umtokazi Republic Party in Zimbabwe. He comes to us, of course, uh, from Johannesburg, but just telling us what is going on in the city of Bulawayo. Nine members of their party have been arrested in recent weeks, and they're very concerned about the way they are being treated.